The Datu Cabello class multi mission offshore vessel is a new class of fisheries patrol vessel being constructed for the Philippine Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, BFAR, under the Department of Agriculture. The ships are being constructed by Josefa Slipways Inc.'s shipyard in Swal, Pangasinan Province in the Philippines, and is believed to be using a design provided by Australian ship designer Inkat Crowther. The ships are designed to patrol Philippine waters and exclusive economic zone to protect against illegal fishing and protection of marine resources. The ships will also be assisting the Philippine Coast Guard PCG, in maritime patrol and maritime law enforcement within Philippine waters and exclusive economic zone. As the ships are jointly crewed by personnel from the BFAR and PCG the vessels are intended to perform patrol, surveillance, monitoring, protection, law enforcement and combating illegal fishing in territorial waters of the Philippines. They can also be used for disaster relief, rescue as well as for seaborne research operations. The ships were constructed by 300 Filipino workers, mostly from Navotas City, following the designs of Inkat Crowther, which conformed to the rules, regulations, and requirements of Bureau Veritas, a world expert in testing, inspection, and certification tick, services. The vessels, which cost around P250 million each, were built to withstand 24-hour continuous, multi-purpose operations and are capable of remaining on station for 30 days. It has an excellent maneuverability and station keeping since it is made of twin fixed-pitch propellers, twin rudders, twin independent electro-hydraulic steering gears and the electric-driven how thruster. Piñol said he wanted to build more ships with the same features as part of the efforts of the government to protect the ocean and its marine resources, and further strengthen the country's manifestation against foreign intimidation. These vessels are made in the Philippines, made by Filipino, and funded using our own money, the taxpayers' money, the former BFAR director Asis Perez said.